Hello everyone, this is Amit again with a very soft tutorial this time and today we will see how to optimize your video for uploading to internet for streaming purpose, especially on YouTube. So let's get started. Alright, you are going to need one of the following softwares as shown here to get the best results but if you happen to have none of these then you can still use the information provided here in your editing application because this is not an application specific tutorial rather we'll discuss the common parameters that you should take into consideration for um, before encoding your videos for uploading however i will be using one of these as an example here let's have a look at what youtube recommends youtube says you should keep your files in their original format and aspect ratio uh, interlaced footage doesn't work well so the interlaced footage is preferable and 720 or 1080p footage will give you best result. But in most cases, especially when you are dealing with high def videos, the size of a clip uh, in its original form is very large compared to the one that is streaming on YouTube after you have uploaded it. So there is no point of uploading files that are huge in size due to higher data rate than the one that has YouTube set, because eventually YouTube is going to lower the data rate once you have uploaded them. So here we will see how to optimize your file sizes while maintaining visually no loss in the quality before you upload them to YouTube. But before we do that let's have a look at what exactly happens to the videos after we have uploaded them to YouTube. Here you can see the information about three high dev video clips that I've downloaded from YouTube including the one that I've uploaded myself which you can of course check out on my page. As you can see all these clips here have nearly same bitrate which is 2 mbps and the standard set by YouTube and all these have same format which is AVC with a profile set to high at L3.1 so let's see how we can use our encoder to achieve similar characteristics uh, for our clips before we upload them to YouTube so that it will not have to re-encode them again by the way, the software I'm using to see these metadata associated with these video clips is a free application called Media Info, which can be downloaded from mediainfo.soundforge.net if you want to try it. So here we are in main concept reference, and this is a demo version. And if you want to follow along and you don't have one, then you can also download a demo from its website. But the parameters we are going to deal here is same. In every encoder and editing application so you can follow along with uh, with the one that you have all right so import your video and audio here uh, from the preset choose h264 high drag your video and audio to their respective places if there is audio associated with your video already then it will take it automatically make sure the profile is set to high mode set to NTSC if you are in the United States of America or Japan for Europe and Asia Pacific we set it to uh, PAL frame rate is 25p and since this is a 720p clip I will set the height and width accordingly make sure 2 pass is checked bitrate set to variable in some applications it is set to constant by default so make sure it is set to variable and from settings choose HDR conformance and set the target bitrate to 2 Mbps and maximum bitrate to 4 Mbps. Then from advanced settings choose the level as 3.1 and give it an output path and voila we are done. And now you can check your encoded file and you will see that uh, the file size is reduced considerably while uh, the quality is you might not be able to notice the difference in the quality of the source and this encoded video so you can now upload it very easily and YouTube don't have to re-encode it again and since it is uh, very low in size then it will take very less time to upload hope this tutorial was helpful and till next time Take care and God bless.